Alright, yeah. this is how before. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you want to get in the bottom? Yeah, we can. What? We made it. Right so guys she is off the surgery i'm about to start vlogging now i haven't been vlogging because we've been trying to get everything together so right now um i'm at school the king i'm trying to eat healthy while i'm down here you feel me and this is when she come out of surgery this is what she's gonna be learning on i went to walmart and got her a couple of stuff that you know he always can't go wrong with getting extra stuff so i got some extra things for her um i got her a robe for when she come out i got some doggy pads for the bed you know you don't want to make mess and i'm gonna show y'all the room, how we prepared it for when she come out of her surgery so i'm gonna show y'all that and i'm gonna show y'all what we set up when she come from out of her surgery with the doggy pads i got extra i got some gloves so i'm be the main one helping her i'm basically gonna be her doctor you feel me but I'm ready for her to come out of surgery. Y'all stay tuned and let's get it. So I'm waiting to pick her up. I'm under the carport. What you know how to bring waiting for them to bring her out now. Look at that girl. Look at that girl. All right guys, this is her walking in the middle of the night. She got a little attitude. I don't know what's going on. She got a headache. But I made her get up and walk. She got to walk every hour. Right now it's 10 something. She just took some pain medicine. And this is how she walk. I'll show y'all how to do y'all girlfriend set up or friend set up. But she sleep right there. And I'll sleep right here. She got a headache. So we're going to talk to y'all tomorrow. So we at the pool right now, relaxing. Finna go get her some fruit. Let her relax by the pool. <laughs> How was your massage? She feel better after the massages, y'all. So you gonna feel better. We try to get her out the room to enjoy this good old weather. Ooh, fuck, I'm hot. She's hot. Y'all see, don't worry about that little hump right there. That's a pad right there. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to head to the room. Get my phone. Shout out to Lay. Lay gonna have to take care of y'all. Now, now, if those. To a napkin. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> she got some water. Right I like the food here. trying to relax. I'm out of breath. How you feeling? I'm out of breath. So yeah, this is an entire black dress robe. Oh yeah, make sure you have a robe and slippers and socks. This is why we keep the medicine in there. While we gone, nobody won't touch it. So this is our room. It's got it's gonna be messy, guys. But you want to keep everything a little together. This is a food area where she don't feel like laying down to eat. So these are the pads that we put down. We had more, but as you go through the day, you can just pick them up because you ain't gonna need them. So we had them all the way down that way to here. So it's padded up as you can see right there. She's going to the bathroom. 
Uh, so this is the bed setup. You don't want to leave the hotel room sheets down. You want to push that to the side. As you see, I got it right there. So here's the bed setup right here. So see, like I said, shower curtain first. Black sheet. I mean, black sheet on top, as you can see. All right. Bless. I mean, shower curtain, black sheet on top. Sheet here. This is her other dress. Oh, that she just took off. All right. So she here. Then up under this, we have pillows. And you really want to put doggy pass up under there and then on top of that pillow. As you may go, as the days go by, you will not need them. So that's why we threw them away. Um, so that's how you set her bed up. I put a trash bag right here just because she needed it. Uh, you will need some of this. A lot of pineapple juice. This is for a stiffness that she got. She can take her medicine soon. We got some apple juice so she can go to the bathroom. We got her water here, and she like dry cereal. So that's why we got Cheerios. The pads is sometimes the faja can rub against her skin. So that's why we put pads there for com comfort. This is where I sleep at. <laughs> this is my shoes, which I need to clean up. You want to get a lot of trash bags. A good view for her to look out. Oh, um, yeah, this is our room. It's kind of messy, I know, but it is life and it. Things don't go as planned. As long as she good, that's all that matter. Guys, don't forget to wash her sheets constantly, every time. Cleaning supplies. A lot of this, a lot of that, and a lot of that. That. This is our food set up over here. She didn't eat none of this stuff that I bought. You might want to get these insurance. Do not get these insurance because this make her, well, Vomit, I know for her, so don't get her done. Get her okay, these guys. How to drain? So, this is bathroom set up. Um, a lot of flushable wipes you need. What's the shine? It's not connected to your stuff, you know, your wee haw. It's connected to an incision that he got. So, right here, first thing is you want to pull all the blood down like that. It's going to go right back because that's all the fluid. Whew. All the fluid that's coming right there. Don't pull on it too hard, y'all. So, you want to open that right there. Squeeze. Hold. Once you squeeze, very important to hold and not let go because you do not want to put air in, the, um, in that drainage. Then, look it back, pull it back, and let it go. And it should look like that. It should not look and like a full You can either connect it. So I won't touch the incision, so it's not a hump, y'all. It's just a padding. All right, so cleaning her faja. Step one. I don't know. You had your own phone coming up, Bill. Basically, put it in the sink. You you gonna need some of this. Put it on there. You just gonna scrub it. So this is what you need to clean. Oh, and this too, peroxide. Spray it on there and get the stains out. All right, now, she already did that part. Not too good with cleaning the file, so what I do is drain for her. So she got it here cleaned, and what we're gonna do is just squeeze it out like this. That's all you do. And then hang it up in the shower so you gotta hang it behind me so it can dry. You wanna put a towel down because as things dry, of course it drains. So you wanna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Need the hanger. Put it on the hanger. So it can dry. Sit all night. Hang it over the shelf. And you're done. So you hold this for her. I put my knee, I put my leg right here so she could use it as a, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So she could push on it as a leverage. She put that leg up first. Yeah. This one, and hold this down for her. She did really good. You know, see guys, soul. don't just drain this. Yes. And the more you walk, the, the more, more flu coming out, and that's what's good. Yeah, you want to walk. Make sure you walk is number one rule. Walk, 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 walk in capital letters, Ooh. so the the fluid can come out. You will the fluid will come out during massages, but it's best to do it like this too as well to get as much fluid as possible off. 
So she's laying down. You don't want her to lay on it. So I like to flip it that way so it can't. Oh, oh I propped my leg. Like that. You don't want this floor going up there. You want it to come down. All right. She lay down. You put the cover over her. But if she's bleeding, you want to put something in between this, like a like another blanket, then this blanket, okay? I mean, that is white. Hi, guys. I'm here to tell you about my BBL journey. As people know, I got Lipo360 BBL. Um, my doctor was Jonathan Fisher here in Miami. Um, my total price for the surgery was actually $8,500. Um, that's not including your hotel, everything that you need, your, um, cell saver. Cell saver is just a blood transfusion for your real, red blood cells to go back in your body. Cause when you have a lipo 360, you lose a lot of red blood cells. So I got it back in my body so I can feel better. That was extra $500. Um, we paid for the hotel. I didn't get a nurse or anybody because I have my girlfriend. She can take care of me. Um, we got all the supplies. Supplies probably totaled up to like $500 or $300 worth off Amazon. But when you get down here, you probably need more than what you expected. So she spent extra like $200, $300. Um, whew, don't mind me, y'all. I'm so probably be out of breath because getting this BBL, you just be out of breath. Mm -hmm. Our transportation, we did car because... I didn't want to deal with the airport transportation. That was like a little too hectic. I know coming back, it was just going to be aggravating, especially with Larry A. Mm -mm. No, I was just not dealing with that. I didn't feel like being irritated. Um, So I was just like, well, we can just get a car blow up bed and drive our own car down here. However, we do have to drive eight hours back to Georgia, but that's okay. Um, Other than that, that's, all the information I have prepping for, just make sure I am going to install my supplies list below and also everything that was required for you to get the surgery. You can't just jump up and say, okay, I want a BBL or a Lipo360. You can't just jump up and get that. You have to meet the standards that the doctor do recommend or they will turn you around or cancel your surgery or reschedule. Um... You do have to have a set BMI going to get a BMI. Um, I currently am 5'3", and my weight starting was 210, so I had to lose, like, a lot of weight just so I can get my uh, BBL. My BMI was 38 on April 1st. Let me tell y'all, I struggled to lose that weight in two weeks. By April 12th, I had to report to my doctor that I was 190. So I lost a lot of weight in 12 days just so I can get my surgery. But my BMI ending was nah, 30, 33.1. His his requirement was 32, but I was just like one inch away. Um, Other than that, I was perfectly healthy. Nothing was wrong, no blood pressure, none of that good stuff. Okay, fast forward. When you do come for surgery day, it is hectic as heck. Like, you will be mad frustrating. Especially in Miami, their traffic and these Spanish people is so rude here. Like, I cannot deal with them. Like, they were like... They want you in and out. In they, and out. Yeah, they want you in and out, beeping, like, beeping the horn. Like, they don't see my legs popped up in that back seat. They know what Miami is for. So, I don't even know why they be so rude here. But whatever. However, pre-op day, it was kind of hectic. Like, I was getting mad frustrated because I uploaded my COVID test before I came, which is on a Friday. However, Unica said this is not open on Saturday and Sunday. My pre-op was on Monday. So when I got there on Monday at 9.30, my appointment was at 10.15, but I told Babe to drop me off at 9.30 just so I can, you know, prep, be ready. When I got in, they was just being... They wanted to step in my COVID test. They wanted me to contact my doctor. My doctor wasn't answering all this good stuff. I'm just like, oh my God. They wanted the PDF form of the COVID test. I'm like, it's a negative. So mind you, when you get to the back, when you walk to the walk through the door, they do a hundred dollar COVID test when you get back there. So I'm just like, what what's the difference? So they want one before they do it. If you do it when they when you get to the back. Only because it's just a 
prick finger. They only prick your finger when they do the COVID testing back, but and it's a hundred dollars. Don't worry, y'all. Do not stress. I'm glad we did go through it so we can tell y'all. Don't stress if your COVID test, okay? Because what you have to do is just go where they send you to get a COVID test, which you want to expedite it. So it was like two hundred and fifty something dollars. No, I'm not getting a camera. <laughs> it was like two hundred and fifty dollars for the expedite the COVID test, just for it to say negative, and they go right back to the place before three p.m. So that was kind of hectic. If so, you are with her, don't let her stress. Just calm her down. And you got to take initiative to take over because she will be stressed and overwhelmed. You don't want that. So just, I say, preferably get the COVID test before you come. Make sure it's PDF file. If you don't, don't worry. Do not panic. Just go to where they send you. Pay the $250. Get the COVID test and go back to your net. Go, go back to your post up. Yeah, because I was like, I was boohoo crying. Babe was trying to calm me down, but it was nothing that she can tell me, nothing that the lady can tell me. Because I'm like, well, dang, I done drove eight hours away. Oh, yeah. Done they paid want you to them. schedule if you don't have the COVID test. I done paid over $9,000, almost $12,000, honestly, for everything, including the hotel. And y'all telling me just because of just because of a COVID test, y'all going to reschedule me? Oh, no. Y'all got me messed up. So I was boohoo crying. Bay was trying to calm me down. Lay at the front desk was trying to calm me down. Whatever. So she sent me to a place to go get the COVID test. It was two hundred and fifty dollars for a thirty minute COVID test. Like a waste of two hundred and fifty dollars. So soon I brought that back up there. They put they put me straight to the back. Got my measurements. Did the other COVID test and they said, "Oh, you're negative." I said, "Oh, I know because I just got one done thirty minutes ago." So, okay, so sitting in the pre-op, it is really, really, really cold in there, y'all. Like, it is so cold. They make you do all this paperwork, make you just agree to everything, make sure you read everything. I made sure I asked questions because one of your incisions that he goes through, he do go through over your woo but it's not, like, close to it, but it is close to it. Up under your belly button, you might as well say. But other than that, the paperwork took forever. The pre-op took forever it took like four hours and then once i did that i came back the next day they gave me my surgery date surgery took forever i was in there at 11 30 i didn't get pulled back until like 1 30 didn't start my surgery until like 2 30 after dr fisher came in there he marked me up told me what he was going to do asked me what did i prefer basically what he said exactly what i wanted to be done give me some curves Give me some little hip hips. Feel this little lumpy butt in. <laughs> and that's what he did. Like, oh well. All right. So, question one. How was your pain level? My pain was a four. I say my pain was a four. And the only reason why I say a four, I wasn't in pain so much. But mind you, y'all, just because she said four, don't think you come down here okay, her pain for so my pain will be four. Right, we don't, don't think. So we're two Everybody's different people. different. But my pain was a four. I wasn't in pain like that. I was just stiff. stiff we're going to insert pictures, but we're going to make sure we cover everything so y'all can see. So I'm pretty sure people going to ask, how do you travel around? So basically, we got a blow-up bed. She lays in the back of the car. Uh, you can't sit on your butt for how long? Six weeks. Okay. But I'm not going to sit on my butt for longer than that because, boom, I ain't about to waste this butt. Okay. Just, yeah. It's because her butt is like uh, the fat tissues. You don't want to kill the cells, you know, before you they grow. Yeah, you don't want to kill the cells. Uh, so that's how we travel. We bought our own car. She went over that. Reasons why. Uh, people are really, really rude. They will blow the horn if you're going up under the speed limit. Like, they want you to speed. So keep that in mind. Uh, I say food. Don't waste your money on food. Was she wasting my money on food? Because don't she waste money on didn't food. Have an is because but you got to make her eat. You got to make her eat, and you got to walk every hour. It's like I could not eat the first day I got out of surgery, and I don't know why, but I was feeling very nauseated. They did give me medication, but I'm not going to disclaim the medications that they gave me because every doctor is different. Was very, very, very cold cold coming yeah, out of coming surgery out of i it was the it had to be the anesthesia like my lips was shaking mad hard i was just i was just freezing it can be it was like 100 degrees it's 100 degrees in miami and i was shaking in the car um other than that let's see what else yeah, make sure you have extra clothing for her. I think I'm going to insert my own video about the people, what you need 
taking care of her from my perspective don't be nervous but take your time be patient don't get aggravated so you have to like take over so don't be stressed out if she don't want to eat or but you do got to make her walk like mm -hmm. she has to walk to get the food off of her body the faha buy extra faha they'll ask you when oh stop they'll ask you the, the first day of your massage because the first day of your massage you will get naked of course and you will see your body the first day of your surgery do not try to take your faha off and try to be so adamant to look at your body like wait to the next day because they're going to take everything off mm -hmm. and they're going to ask you do you want to go ahead and buy another faha which i did i bought a black one which was 120 dollars. i bought a black one because i didn't want to see no more blood but yeah. i didn't bleed as much as i thought i was right. going to do go ahead could you remember the supplies that you bought off my head i bought um adult maxi pads like what you use for your menstruals and that is only so you won't get faha burns so i can put it like in my incisions i bought adult diapers i bought a toilet a bbl toilet seat so then you won't sit on your booty when you have to do number two when to pee i did get a female urinal um uh, which that is so much easier and then i got some other medications like I got melatonin just in case I couldn't sleep, Tylenol, Benadryl, Benadryl is because you're going to be very itchy. When you're itchy, it's only because you're healing right. That doesn't mean, oh, doctor makes you mess you up or he put something in you wrong. No, it's only because you're healing correct. Everything is attaching. Oh, you have to drink two gallons a day. So two gallons of water. Please buy extra water. Yeah, not that kind of water. Two. Not, don't get this water from Miami. This it makes me it made me throw up like mm -mm. but the soap that i had to buy her you cannot use dial soap you do want to use dial soap the first day the day before the day before the day before because if you use dial soap it uh you know dry your incisions out L and people know that i got the bbl like mm -hmm. that is my pet peeve like when you're in miami that's all you see for her surgery um, be with her because they will not open the door for you. They'll see you with her and they will still not open the door for you. So make sure you got these. Yeah. Anyways, she but well, are you happy with your results? Mm -hmm. One out of ten. <laughs> a ten. She got a big booty on what? A great support system. That's what I can say. My girlfriend being the best, the best. Even though y'all ain't seen me like that, because I mean, she be trying to hide me from y'all. But baby, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, and I see y'all. <laughs> Don't cut them off. Don't. Cut them off. I just had the pool to myself, relaxing. So number one, let's talk about first picking her up from the surgery. Picking her up from the surgery was very scary for me because it was like seeing the transformation in less than like five hours. So it was kind of like scary for me. Being that she, you go, you gotta be real careful with her. Being that she will be in pain when she get, you know, from surgery, she will be in pain. So, uh, first let's talk about okay, let's go back to getting ready for the surgery. We'll input down below what all you need to get ready for, and more. So we we actually drove. We didn't take the plane. We drove here be it for safety reasons and we didn't in miami the way they drive they drive so aggressive here so and then having to wait on people know so we just drove ourselves um for protection as well so getting here we drove ourselves transportation two we got our hotel we ate went to the pool got in the jacuzzi you know you might want to do stuff before she had the surgery because you're not really gonna be able to do a lot of stuff once she's out but you got to make her though move around so getting prepared for surgery you want to set up the hotel room um to put doggy pads down for excessive bleeding you want to make sure she has so disinfectant spray uh extra sheets extra dresses shower curtains curtain to put so bed set up you want to put shower curtain down first over the bed then the black sheet then the doggy pads then the pillow then doggy pads again so pause the video if you need to write that down i ain't repeating in the bathroom, you want to put doggy pads down. You want to have her, um, you want to have her tissue ready, um, wipes, because you want to clean it every time she uses it just to stay, you know, germ-free. Being that she have open wounds. When you dealing with 
your girlfriend or your friend, you want to have gloves too to make sure your hands are clean. I use Dow soap, but to shower, she can't use Dow soap. You have to use Dow soap because Dow, Dow soap will drain your incisions out. After Before surgery, the day before, you want to go get her medicine filled. So you want to have the medicine set up and ready for her the day before. You want to have food ready. You want to have food ready, water ready. You want to get a half a gallon like this. So you want to get half a gallon so she can walk around and drink. She's going to be really, really, really thirsty when she get out of surgery. Um, picking her up for surgery. So we went to uh, your doctor with Dr. Fisher in Miami. Uh, unique Aesthetics. Unique Aesthetics is basically the people you'll go through before you get to Dr. Fisher. Probably going all over the place, but I think I am staying in order. Um, get trash bags for trash because there'll be a lot of trash you gotta change well she did she did good work maintaining her fluids um because it didn't leak as bad but you want to change it once or twice um the doggy pads on the floor that's what i'm talking about right now um, make sure your hotel room have big enough area where she can walk around because she might not want to walk out in the hallway but i'm gonna get her to start walking out in the hallway so she know how to keep walking back and forth for a short distance so must walk number one must eat number two must drink water number three medicine make sure you follow the instructions on the medication list do not go out of order make sure she's taking it consistent each time of the day oh god i must freaked out the first day when i had the drain i been really getting some rest i ain't even she sleep told. i ain't been sleep for like two me. days wash and dry because i did wash hers so once she take that first shower you want to go ahead and wash the sheets that she's been laying on for the first time then go ahead and change it when she get out the shower well, change it before she got out of the shower, so when she got out of the shower, all you guys got to do is put on a fire high and she lay her behind right back down. Um, when she gets up to go to the bathroom, she walk every five I would like, go ahead and walk to get it over with. Uh, going to massages will be the same place that you go to get your paperwork and stuff done. So it's, it's all at one place. The surgery place is just at a whole different place. What you will look in your email to get that. Do what you got to do so I can get it over with. Peace.